It was a fling. Right, it meant nothing. Stop lying. You're embarrassing yourself. She just saw us, admit it. I'm going to leave. So, carry on as you were. Don't move. This is your way out, Robert. Just take it. I don't want a way out. I want to marry Chrissy. You know what? Fine. You say anything to anyone? Yeah, and what? I won't waste my time. Now who's the village bike? <laughs> Begging you, please, just delete the photo. No. Come on, it's my wedding day. Yeah, cos you gave us stuff about mine. Come on, Katie, you're no saint. You've been in the same position as me. I think I'd remember if you had a gay phase, Robert. It wasn't a phase, it was, it was meaningless sex. I love Chrissy. Please, I, I can't break her heart. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have started seeing a fella. Just a thought. We were here to end things. He was upset because I didn't pick him. So upset you had to snog his face off. It was a goodbye kiss, I swear. I will let you argue that one out with Chrissy. Then you can have whatever you want, OK? You can have this place for free if that's what it takes. Wow. You really are stuck to the back of that closet, aren't you? You know, your marriage is hanging by a thread. I made that happen. All you have to do to fix it is keep quiet. Look, right, he didn't actually nick anything. Okay, he just ransacked the place. He just ransacked Mum's house. Don't get all judgy. Hey, it worked, didn't it? You're frightened of it to moving in with you. Congratulations. Yeah, well, we only had to because Dad and Moira scared her off. She made up her own mind. They had nothing to do with it. I thought you chilled out about all this. Well, she wouldn't even be here if you hadn't forced her. It means I was right from the start. You had to burgle the house to get her attention. Doesn't that say it all? Debs has got us on a call out. I was hoping we could have a talk. Oh, she'll kill us if I don't go now, though. You didn't go upstairs. What, at yours? So how did your prince get in my bedroom? I, uh, I did a quick check around, make sure everything was safe. You were pretty shaken up. Uh, I wouldn't blame you for not noticing. I noticed the police were very familiar. Weird that, if these scrapes you had were so long ago. There, um... There might be some more recent stuff. What stuff? Ross? Did you break into my house? No. The two of you were there straight after. Nothing was taken, and I'd remember if you went upstairs. I can explain, all right? You're not Auntie Becky? <gasps> no, I'm the emergency bridesmaid. You look really pretty. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's a nice dress, isn't it? Right, big day's here. How are you feeling about it? All right, since I spoke to you. Don't know why I was getting so stressed about the whole age thing. Robert makes my mum happy, so who cares? Good for you. Plus, I get the run of this place while they're on honeymoon. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. <gasps> well? Well, I do. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I second that. I agree with this. What's this? I put a picture of Grandma in it. Oh, lucky is perfect. That's so thoughtful of you. Have an amazing day, Mum. Thank you. Oh, God, I think I'm going to start crying. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got loads of tissues for later. Look at you. Right. Everyone ready for some arty shots in the grounds, because that photographer is raring to go. Yes, just um, two seconds for a quick makeup check. Has Robert been around here? No, because he's getting ready at the pub. Or not. Diane phoned. She said he uh, popped out a while back. Yes, to get something for Chrissy. Oh, OK. Well, he's not popped out yet. So where is he, then? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Married twice, divorced twice. That'd be quite a record. And he'd be fine. Once he finds out I was telling the truth. Well, it's not like he's believed you before, is it? Yeah. I've got this now. Yeah? You've got that? But no farm. But hey, this is Andy we're talking about. It's not like he can't cope with failure. It's not like he gets depressed when things don't go his way. You're disgusted. Every time he looks at you, he's just going to see what you've lost him. Unless I accept your offer. 
We say, you convince me to change my mind, you buy the place, and I figure out a way of coming up with the money. All behind Andy's back, right? Well, that's what keeping quiet means, yeah. All right, and what happens next time I do something you don't like? Nothing. No more grudges, that's the end of it. All of it. It'll be the start of an even bigger lie. <laughs> Who cares? What, cos you're already living one? No, not after I'm married, I'm not. Robert, getting married won't turn the gay thing off. No, I'm not gay! See, it all makes sense now. You're bitter and angry because you can't be yourself. I am being myself and I'm fine with it. Are you going to take the farm or not? No. No, Robert, I'm not. I just wanted to show you that you'd be losing out if you cut us off. Have you any idea what it was like to walk in and see the place in that state? To wonder if there was someone still inside ready to hurt me. Yeah, but we were right there. You had us to lean on. I wouldn't have needed anyone if you hadn't smashed the house up. Right, look, it looked bad, OK, but I never meant to do that much damage. I knocked that frame over by mistake. I had to take my gloves off to fix it. That's why my fingerprints were there. You made us desperate. I know it wasn't the smartest thing to do. So it was my own fault. You didn't have to keep messing us about. Turning up and then running off again. Is this who you really are? A thug in trouble with the police. We just wanted you to give us a chance. Do we even think about doing something like that? It's not right. Oh. So I'm a massive disappointment now, am I? For giving us stuff about you. Tell me that you've never done anything like that before. Tell me you've never hurt anyone. I guess you won't be staying then. You love Sam. So? It's a fight for him. I left him, didn't I? You were forced. It doesn't matter. He can't see past it and he never will. You don't know that. Ali, I've wasted a year of my life already. I've got to get myself back on track. I owe it to a watchie. Yeah, but you don't have to move to Luton to do that. Well, that's where the job is. There'll be more jobs. Yeah, and I'll be applying for as many as I can. None of them around here. Voicemail again. Shall I have a scout around the village? We've lost the groom, not a dog. Didn't Lawrence put the kibosh on that Mexican dude? Fake heart palpitations at check-in, apparently. You're not thinking sabotage, are you? No, he's well over that now. <laughs> or Robert's handcuffed to a radiator somewhere. He's got more chance of being stuck under that monstrosity. <laughs> Eric under there and all, is he? Shout if you can hear us, Eric. Shall we send help? <laughs> Eric's got a terrible cold. And this is fashion. Is Rob not back yet? No. We could have a runaway groom situation. You're joking? I want him to straighten something out. Yeah, join the queue. Katie reckons he's pulling the sale on the farm. What? Well, is he? Well, Lawrence doesn't seem to think so. And I'm, I don't know why he would without talking to me first. Unless she's accusing him again. Oh, I thought she was letting things lie. Well, so did I. But she can't leave him alone, Diane. I don't know what's got into her. Where is she now? I've no idea. I told her not to come to the wedding. I don't think I could look her if she did. I'll pay for the work. I'll throw in whatever else you need. It's not a real offer, though, is it? So you're just buying some time so you can figure out another way of shutting me up. What else are you going to burn, eh? It's real. I'll even let you keep the photo if you want. You can call it insurance. You threatened to kill me. You took this place away from us. Why on earth? Would I want to do a deal with you? You throw away everything you and Andy want just to spite me. This place should have been ours no matter what, Robert. When Christy finds out the truth, she'll see that. I think she'll reward you for destroying her life. I think she'll thank me. Yeah. You can't tell her. It's not up to you anymore! What the hell are you doing, Robert? It is up to me, and you're staying away from Chrissy. What about shutting me in here? You're insane! No, Katie, you are. I told you to stay away from me. So you're forgetting something? You're not talking your way out of it, so don't even bother trying. Well, I wanted to tell her face to face, but now you've done this. I'll just have to text her, won't I? Suppose I might as well text everyone whilst I'm at it. Maybe call Andy, too. Give it to me. I don't think so. Nice 
try. What's the code? It's your choice. I can easily smash it up. Do it. It's not like Aaron will much persuading to back me up. Right, I've tried giving you what you want. If you're not going to take it, then you give me another chance. To do what? What burned me alive? See, I'm not scared of you anymore. Yeah. Shut up. So, so what, you're going to beat me up now? You want an assault charge on top of everything else? I warned you, didn't I? See, I'm just going to love this. I'm not telling anyone anything. You know, I can't wait to see Chrissy's face. I can't wait to watch you realise the kind of guy you really are. This is your last chance, OK? I'm leaving. I'm going anywhere. You didn't I? Just do what I asked you. I might have kind of told Pete about Mum's house. OK, so you might want to stay clear for a bit. Look, mate, I don't think he's going to say anything, OK? But it's best that you just don't wind him up. She knows. How? You, sweating like a fat kid in a bakery when the cops came round. What, and you admitted it? She's really hard to lie to. And how did she take it? About as bad as she could. Chaz is all set. Victoria's done. She's meeting us there. Still not a peep from Robert, though. Well, he knows where the church is. Bagsy, I don't have to sit next to the incredible sulk. I don't know why Katie's not answering her phone. Why don't you go and find her? It's obviously driving you mad. Well, it's Robert who's missing. Go and find him, then. Put us all out of our misery. I can't work out why Kate would make something like that up. She did a ponytail too tight. Who knows? Will you go and find the groom? There's good people here looking forward to a party. Right. I will. Just text me if you hear anything. Just when you think everyone's getting on for once. It'll be all over by the disco. It better be, or I'll eat this. What? Something's happened. Oh, she told Chrissy that. You have to come back. No, I'm not lying for you. Huh? Please, I need you. It's, it's really bad. Please come back. Well, I've got the money for the DJ, Anna. But the uh, bride's en route. The groom's missing in action. Fairly standard, then. Yeah, for us. Hey, do you want to come to the church, watch some sparks fly? Sounds like fun. But I've got some serious thinking to do. No, oh, no. What about...? You've got to get to church. I can spare five minutes for serious thinking. Rachel's moving down south with Archie. When? As soon as she finds a job, by the sounds of it. How's Joe taking it? She hasn't told him. She wants to keep quiet until it's too late. I heard her telling Ali. So, what, what's there to think about? Well, I'm thinking maybe it's best he doesn't know. She's not going to keep quiet. Watch him lose Archie all over again? That's not what I want. No? Of course not. I don't want to see him hurt again. If you really mean that, you've only got one choice, haven't you? Is it? Hi. Hi. Not 
up it's running a teeny bit late we well, can't be late we're late he's even later sorry a couple of laps around the village should do the trick see you in a few then go easy on the gas all right <laughs> you don't think he's having second thoughts do you second thoughts over my dead body or his with a combine harvest dad he'll be here <sighs> birthday. Your birthday. Wedding date. Why are you even still here? She fell. We were talking. We sorted everything out. The floor just collapsed. So then why have you phoned me? She needs an ambulance. It's too late for an ambulance. You're cooking up now. Well, get back in your box. We're only having a drink. Well, you could have got him in serious trouble. I am actually here. Well, he didn't even go in. He just sat in the car and played on his phone for half an hour. Well, listen, you do what you like, but leave him out of it. Look, I'm hardly starting a life of crime, all right? It was a one-off so we could see Mum. I doubt we'll be seeing much more of her. Not another job abroad, is it? No, she was sus about the police coming over. And she called me on it. I had to tell her what we did. She wasn't happy. Well, it was pretty extreme. Well, we'll just have to talk to her. We'll get her to see it from our side. She asked me if I'd done stuff like that before. Should have seen her face when I couldn't deny it. Yeah, it was probably just a shock. I've screwed it all up for us all. Look, I'm sorry, Finn. If she goes, it's because of me. If she goes, it'll be for the best. Oh, here we go again. Well, just take my word for once, all right? She has no right to judge any of us. I mean, the place has been derelict for years. I, I knew the floors needed work, but I didn't think... You should never have come here. No, she should never have come here! What happened when I went? We talked. I told her everything. She, she said she was going to keep quiet. She even deleted the photo. She stood right next to me. The floor just gave way. I, I tried to grab her, but it all happened too quick. Right, uh, we need to phone Andy. Well, you have to tell him. And the police. We need to phone the police. OK. OK. Wait, wait, what if they think I did something? Why would they? I'm not supposed to be here, Aaron. I'm supposed to be getting married. That's going to look bad, right? We'll, we'll, we'll tell them the truth. I don't think they're going to believe the truth, Aaron. Last week, you were telling her to stay. That was for you two. I'm not so sure I did the right thing. Why not? Because look at the state of you both. No, it's more than that. Is it always has been? Why can't you just tell us? Oh, give it a rest. I'm sick to death of it. Look, right, if she did something so bad, why bother to protect her? Look, I'm not protecting her. Look, look, what are you doing, Ross? You better get off me right now. Tell us. What? I can't be doing with him bleating on her, your pathetic face one second longer. You're not going to like it. Why don't you let us decide that? No, tell us. It's because of you. Well, I've not done anything, mate. Yeah, I know. Well, it's what she did to you when you were a kid. Yeah. I was there. I saw it. Saw so what? I promised I wouldn't say. No. No more backing out. Pete, what did she do? 
Well, it was bad. If Dad wouldn't have stopped her, he would have died. She caught us together. She was threatening to tell Chrissy, and now she's dead. Me and her haven't been getting on for weeks. She told people I torched a caravan. Why would she do that? Because she hated me. I'm going to prison. No, you're not. I'm going to prison. If Andy doesn't kill me first. Look, they'll, they'll do tests or whatever. They'll see that the floor was wrecked. Well, you could say you saw it. You could say you're a witness. What, no? No, no, I don't think it was both of us. It's Vic. She's been ringing me non-stop. What should I do? You should phone the police. Oh, we, we could just go. What, and leave her here? Well, if there's no one here, there'll be no questions. They'll, they'll work out it was an accident. You need to phone Andy and tell him his wife's dead. What, and go to prison? Just because you wanted to out me? Because you were selfish and jealous and you, you couldn't stand to see me get married? I never knew this would happen. You brought her here. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, if you're sorry, you'll help me. Actor Ryan Holly, who plays Robert, can be seen on Good Morning Britain from six, and you can watch Sammy Winfield's final scenes as we say goodbye to 14 years of Katie Sugden on itv.com slash Emmerdale. Next tonight, a wild weekend is planned with the birds of a feather. Then at nine, mayhem on the roads in Car Crash Britain. Cotton camera.